I'm fishing with my friend Matt. Thank you, Matt, for introducing me. And uh, got to drop off a rod for him today. He's a giveaway winner in the Buy Me a Coffee. So he's a subscriber and a big, big supporter of the channel. So uh, we're here hitting the surf. What are we targeting today? We're targeting halibut, but there could be some white sea bass in here. Uh, you know, there could be some calicos off some of these reef systems. So we're looking at rocky reefs, looking at river mounts. Um, we're going to be throwing LCs, and if the weeds get tough, we'll be throwing some swim yeah. baits. But okay. I, I think uh, we have a good shot at them today. All right, so we're doing the same old thing, man. You guys know what I love to do. I'll tell you more along the way. Matt, for those of you guys who don't know him, is an absolute slayer. He's the grand champion of the Battle of the West Coast. It was a surf fishing competition put on by the California Surf Anglers, a great fishing community on Facebook. Big shout out to all the guys and everybody who fishes with us. Yeah, California Surf Anglers. And you know how it is with surf fishing, guys. You never know what, what might be swimming through. So we're going to give it a, a, a good shot today, see what we can catch, and uh, just have a lot of fun. Yeah, it's going to be great. I'm All glad right. you're here. Let's rock and roll. Let's do it, man. Okay. Uh, kind of an unfortunate story. I left all my Lucky Crafts at home, but uh, Matt let me borrow or use this one. I think this is the blue pink sardine. And I'm just hoping not to lose it. And hopefully we can stick some fish. We got Matt on a fish. Oh, it's a short. Hey, on the board. Hey, we're on the board, baby. <laughs> nice job. What are you throwing, Matt? I'm throwing the uh, metallic sardine. The good old faithful. Yeah. Number one selling lure from a pattern from Lucky Craft. That's my go-to, man. And you know, there's all these famous colors, but it's all you need right there. Yeah. So nice job. Way to get us on the board. Duck fan, we're fishing now. Heck yeah. All right, Matt. Uh, showing how to fish his home waters here with the second shaker. Small little guys, but we're just trying to get bit right now. And there's also a good sign. So uh, the weedless swim bait, thought that was the best chance, but Matt's been throwing the Lucky Craft and he's got two. I gave up on the Lucky Craft pretty early on just because of this situation. I just didn't think it was smart of me to continue throwing it, but Matt has proved me wrong and we're gonna go right back to this and see if we could find quality fish. Oh my gosh! Matt's on another halibut. It's another little shaker. So there's a lot yeah, of shakers on there. Better, but it felt bigger. A little bit bigger, so we're yeah. scaling up, man. That felt a lot bigger. Yeah. When you foul hook, it feels like you're dragging them. Now, now the clinic is on, so I feel some pressure here. So Matt's dialed in the process and uh, we're gonna have to figure this out and get bit ourselves. All right guys, so I wanna um, show you what I was talking about. Why is Matt getting bit? Watch his retrieve. And I want you to look at his focus. I want you to look at his focus on the cadence of his retrieve. He's extremely focused on how that lure is swimming in the water. Very, very slow retrieves. When Matt's caught a fish, I've stolen his spot. And he moves over to another spot and he catches the fish. Then I steal that spot and he catches <laughs> another fish. It just goes to show you, catching fish is not an accident. And I say it over and over again, it's working on your craft. It, it, it's focusing and trying to make every cast great. And what I've seen Matt, what I've seen from Matt this morning is I've just seen an incredibly focused fisherman. So I hope you find this helpful, guys. Explore some other spots and hopefully uh, yeah. both of us get on some nice fish. Good stuff. Let's keep learning, guys. And okay. I'm, I'm learning this morning. So um, having fun. We're yep. out here. Let's do it. So the route continues. 13-inch elephant croaker. Very, very nice. Those guys fight so hard, man. Yeah. And the good news is there's schools of them, so I might be able to beat the skunk. Bye. Oh, my God. There we go. What is this thing? Swipe, I thought I missed my third bite and then got him at the very end, he came back for it. Yep, you little yellowfin croaker. That's what's swimming through here. Oh no, it's a big perch. Holy cow. Little 12 inch perch guys to beat the skunk on Matt's Lucky Craft. Thank you for letting me use that lure again. All right guys, beat the skunk um, with the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow. 
I think this is the blue pink or the super glow super glow MVP and uh, got this uh, 12 inch perch and uh, beat the skunk man learning a lot fishing with my friend Matt today in new waters and just learning how to fish these waters and uh, just growing as a fisherman every single cast make every cast count you know don't ever quit and uh, you know good things happen so I think we're in a little hole here that's holding a decent amount of fish and uh, we'll try to stick with it here and see if we can get something else on the board here. So Matt, with his fourth shaker today. There's so. all kinds of species by yep. right now, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yellow pink croaker, the barred surf perch, and now a little flatty, so. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's get after it. Yeah, we got Brandon here. He's a, he's a local slayer here as well. Fish on. There he is. It's a polar. It's a smaller grade fish, but uh, something decent maybe. Dug me into some structure, but got one to stick. I don't know how well he's hooked. Let's see if we can land him. Not well. It's a better gray. Oh, it's a decent halibut. There we go, mission accomplished. All right guys, got ourselves a little halibut. Uh, maybe in the 20 inch range, we're gonna put them on tape right now. Uh, got this one on the Lucky Craft that uh, my friend Matt is letting me use. He bit on super shallow water and that's, you guys know that's how I do best. Um, and so it worked out on this one, 20, almost 21 inch, so short illegal. We're gonna get, re get him released uh, as fast as we can. I'll let you guys know what was working. Ow! Oh, oh Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. It's okay. in. You're gonna be okay. Yeah, it's in your skin bad. You're gonna what be do you okay. do? Um, we're gonna pop it out, but I'm gonna cut it out of him, okay? Benji, what just happened, buddy? Um, I you sure it's running? made a stupid mistake and uh, hoped that it would never happen to me, but it just did. And uh, I got a treble stuck in my hand. Uh, pretty good, it's in there. And so I don't know what we're gonna do, but I got Matt here, he's gonna help me out. And we're gonna use this as a learning experience. This is definitely a what not to do side. Um, so I got this treble in me, and uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna figure it out. The barb came all the way through, right? Yeah, the barb's all the we way through. We could snip the barb off. Yeah. Do you have a snipper? Think, think somebody could snip it? No. That would be the easiest way. Yeah. Because going back with the barb is gonna hurt. I mean. Yeah, that's, that's uh, I don't really look forward to that. All right, guys, this is not, um, if you're, if you don't like graphic things, don't look at this. Um, but the barb is completely through and, and bent out actually, um, on me and, uh, just a stupid, stupid mistake. But hey, like I said, Lucky Crafts catch everything and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I wonder if, can we cut it off or no? Um, we're gonna try to pop it, I think, right? Pop it? Oh, shoot. All right, guys, so let me know in the comments uh, what the right thing to do is here. I think what I'm leaning towards, I couldn't just try to pop this. Um, I'll be honest, uh, I'm terrified of doing that. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but if I have to pop it, I will. But what I'm leaning towards doing is going to Matt's house and using wire cutters to cut off the barb and then just pulling it out. What a freaking day, man. I've seen a lot of videos and pictures of this and I've been dreading it and I should know better, but in the heat of the moment, um, stuff happens, man. And so um, just wanna take you guys along into this journey, share with you guys. I suppose that's what a YouTuber is supposed to do. Um, I think, I don't know, but at least I'm free of the lure and uh, I think, what do, you, what do you think, Matt? Should we go, do you, can I come to your house? 
and, and Dita, is that yeah. okay with you? Yes. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> we're gonna pack up our stuff, get back to the car, um, and uh, we're gonna go to Matt's house, cut this off. I'll take you guys along for the journey, assuming you wanna see this, and uh, we're gonna take care of this, all right, guys? Let's go. Ah. All right, guys, so I'm at uh, Matt's house, and we are gonna try to cut off the end with the barb here with some cutters. There we go. All right. So that was good. Okay. And I don't know where that piece is. It's right there. Off. Okay. All right. So now we cut off that end there. And so in theory, I don't know what the right way is, but I should just be able to lean it this, lean it this way and just, I think we just got to yank it out. Yeah. I think that's the plan. We'll, yeah. Uh, do you want to have something to use like a, something like this to do it with? Yeah. You want me to do it? Um, cause I'm right-handed, so, hold on, all right. so I think you gotta lean it, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was so smooth. So it just pulled right out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think that was the right call, right? <laughs> Woo! I, I think with that barb, it, on. even though we flattened out the barb a little bit, it, I think it still would have might have plugged it would have hurt i mean yeah. it would have I, I think there's some ways i'm sure guys in the comments will say how you pop a barb through yeah um, i've done it it's so painful yeah it's a lot of wrenching and wincing yeah and just sheer brute strength and just right um and it hurts so i think this is the best way yeah um uh, it looks like it's going to heal up we'll get some uh alcohol on that or something to, so it, to clean it, it up entered here and it exited here that was the exit oh how did it go in i think you had another treble Prick it. Prick it. Or, or maybe it was from it. here to here, huh? I, I, don't, I don't know where that exit point is. You got smashed. Yeah. That was actually easier than I thought. Yeah. I was, I was picturing this going really like. I, I was, I, what I was going to say. Like on what it. I was going to say is, hold on, let me bite my shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, but, that was really actually worked out. Well. Yeah. I'm glad we did that. All right. So it, a way. I, I think it was the right call. And again, in the heat of the moment, stuff happens. And so it was a real, I learned a lot to just to be much more careful. Um, having spent more time on the sand over the past, you know, four or five years, um, you get careless and you just don't think that it'll happen. Thanks yeah, so much fun. for meeting up. And uh, it was a real fun time out there. It's all about sharing that stoke, making memories. We made memories today. Um, got to meet a new friend. Thanks so much, guys. Until next time. Tie lines.